Your propane tanks and valves are carefully engineered to be safe and efficient. In this video, we'll cover the essential parts and safety functions of forklift tanks, large storage tanks, and what you need to know about gravity fill and pump and motor safety procedure. The details of how to operate these types of tanks are covered in the next video trainings. So let's begin with the standard 8-gallon forklift fuel tank. And we'll start with a look at the inside of the tank. As you can see, the inside is not empty. There are internal parts which contribute to both the safety and efficiency of using propane fuel. You'll need to know these parts for the quiz at the end. The names of these parts are labeled as follows. The 20% fixed liquid level gauge, the float gauge, the liquid withdrawal tube or dip tube, the foot ring, and the valve guard. The purpose of the 20% fixed liquid level gauge is to prevent overfilling and to allow excess vapors to leave the tank during refilling. The float gauge is connected to the percent gauge on the top exterior of the tank. This indicates how much fuel is in the tank at any given time. The liquid withdrawal tube or dip tube is connected to the service valve. This allows for liquid propane fuel to be drawn from the bottom of the tank when the service valve is opened for operation. The foot ring serves to protect the bottom of the tank and as a way to stand the tank upright. The valve guard serves to protect the valves from impact and damage and also is the place where the tank specification and certification stamp or plate is located. Now let's move on to the top of your forklift tank. As you can see there are several gauges and valves. Each is important and serves a specific purpose. Starting here this blue cap is covering the pressure relief valve. Since the fuel is under pressure inside the tank, this valve is designed to release pressure or blow automatically if necessary. For example, if a filled tank is exposed to excessive heat, the pressure relief valve will help prevent the tank from exploding. Also, if you accidentally overfill a tank, the pressure relief valve could blow, releasing the excess gas. If this happens, you will not be able to use that tank until it's recertified and you need to call Ted Johnson Propane immediately to report the problem. Next is the 20% maximum fixed level gauge. This gauge is open during the refilling process for three main purposes. One, to allow excess vapors to exit the tank during refilling. Two, to indicate when the tank is filled properly. And three, to prevent overfilling. Next is the 1 and 3 quarter inch liquid fill valve. In this graphic, the yellow protective cap is in place. This is the connection for fast fill or for filling from a large storage tank. The connection is larger than the service valve so more fuel can transfer faster. The gauge in the middle is the percent gauge. It will indicate the approximate amount of fuel remaining at any given time. Most forklift tanks can be read both upright and on its side while mounted on the forklift. The next is the liquid service valve. This valve is specialized and has several important built-in safety features. The service valve is used both for refilling and fuel line connection to your forklift. The main thing you need to know about operating this valve safely and correctly is the shutoff mechanism. There's an internal stopper device which will automatically and immediately shut off the flow of gas if there's a sudden release of pressure. Take a look at this example. When the valve is open slowly, the fuel will flow correctly. If the valve is open too quick, the gas flow is automatically stopped. The reason is to prevent an uncontrolled escape of fuel if there's damage to the valve or a connection is somehow broken. It's best to turn the valve slowly and smoothly at all times. Now let's move on to the bulk storage tanks. First of all, you should always notice a fire extinguisher when you're walking up to a bulk storage tank. Tanks larger than 172 gallons must have a 40 BC fire extinguisher at the tank site. A fire extinguisher is not required for a 50 or 100 gallon tank, but it is highly recommended. Here you can see a 100 gallon, a 288 gallon, a 499 gallon, and an 1150 gallon tank. Each of these types of bulk storage tanks 
also have internal parts like the 8 gallon forklift tank we just discussed. There are however a few major differences in addition to the size. First of all, there are more options available for the types of fittings, valves, and connections depending on the uses of fuel on any given premises. So let's start with the 100 gallon storage tank. As you can see, it looks almost like an oversized forklift tank, but this tank is used to fill smaller tanks, so the connections are different. Follow along with the graphic as we go over the names of the parts. Starting at the top, from the outside of the tank, we can see the neck ring, the dome, and the foot ring. The neck ring serves to protect the valves from damage and incorporates the hinge lid called the dome. The dome serves to protect the valves from the elements and may be locked to prevent the tampering of the valves. The foot ring allows for the tank to be kept upright and keeps the tank off the ground to help prevent rust and dents. Now let's have a look at the top of the 100 gallon bulk storage tank. Here you have the liquid withdrawal valve, the liquid fill coupler, the pressure relief valve, and the percent gauge. Now remember, the steps to use these tanks properly are covered in the following training videos. So now let's move on and get to know the 288 gallon, 499 gallon, and the 1150 gallon storage tanks. The operation and safety features of these storage tanks are similar, and there are two ways to operate them. One with a pump and motor, and the other way is with a gravity line. The gravity line is simple to operate, but it is slower and does not have a meter to show how many gallons of propane are flowing during the refueling process. Careful attention to the 20% gauge on the tank you are filling must be maintained to ensure a proper fill. With the pump and motor, the refueling process is much faster and a flow meter is used as an accurate guide to keep track of the fuel flow. The meter indicates the number of gallons of fuel that have been pumped. Both the 20% gauge and the meter should be observed carefully when refilling with the pump and motor or you may seriously overfill your smaller fuel tank. Most of the bulk storage tanks have a filling line that uses a bleeder valve. And this is a look at a bleeder valve. This bleeder valve is used near the end of the fueling process to discharge or bleed off the trapped gas inside the filling line. How and when to use this valve is covered in the following training videos. All three types of these large storage tanks have one very important safety feature, the trip chain. If there is ever an accident and fuel is free flowing out of the storage tank, pull the trip chain to stop the flow of gas immediately. The trip chain will close the valve located at the very base of the tank. It's your first and maybe your most effective way to prevent large scale consequences to an accident or malfunction during filling. Now those are some of the basics about your forklift fuel tanks. If you're ready to proceed, simply close the Windows Media Viewer and click the next link to move on. If you'd like, you can rewind this video to any section to review the information as needed. Mm -hmm.